Hello students, welcome from four to week two, lesson 10. We were dealing with the Hess's law calculation using the energy level diagrams. We have done question one and question two and question three. So in lesson 11 today, we want to do Hess's law, but we are going to solve using another formula called the flip formula, or the flipping formula. In our case here, we are not going to use the energy level diagram and we are not going to use the energy circle diagram. Instead, we are going to use the flip formula. Okay, example. Example one, given that we are having carbon reacting with oxygen, given as carbon peroxide, this is the standard NTLB of uh, combustion of carbon peroxide, which is negative 393.5 kilojoules per mole. Here we are having hydrogen reacting with half moles of oxygen, giving us one mole of water. This is the standard NTLB of combustion of hydrogen gas. And here we are having carbon, two mole of carbon reacting with three mole of hydrogen gas, giving us two mole of, uh, I mean, one mole of uh, ethane gas. So this is the NTLB of formation, or I'm at the standard NTLB of formation of ethane gas. So the question we are told, determine the NTLB change for the combustion of ethane. Combustion of ethane. That means using this formula, you are supposed to have your uh, your target question okay the question here will be the target question will be the combustion of uh, ethane so how are we going to write that a uh, question for the combustion of uh, ethane so we're going to write ethane to be c2 h6 that's a gas reacting with oxygen gas because the gas that's about combustion is oxygen so we are going to get carbon peroxide gas and also water liquid as our product so let us balance this equation so to balance we have two carbon so we have to put two carbon here we have six of hydrogen so we have to put three here so to count the number of oxygen gas here we have four and here we have three so that means the total number of oxygen there is seven so to balance it we are going to put seven over two on the side of oxygen. Remember, learners, here you cannot put two here to balance the equation. You, you are supposed to get one mole of ethane because this equation is the equation for the standard NTLB of combustion of that ethane. What is the standard NTLB of combustion? That's the NTLB gene that occurs when one mole of ethane is reacted or completely a band in oxygen to form carbon frost and also water so you cannot put two here okay instead you are supposed to balance even by using a fraction to balance that oxygen atoms so next this is the target question okay so we are supposed to combine all these equations that we have that we are given and we are supposed to get these equations that we have here okay to start I have ethane, which is C2H6, which is a gas. But that ethane equation is here, but it is on the product side. So we are supposed to flip. We are supposed to? We are supposed to flip. So flipping means we are going to put ethane as our reactant. That means we are going to have C2H6, which is a gas. Then we are going to have our arrow. Then we are going to get two of carbon, solid plus three of hydrogen, which is a gas. So when you flip the equation, you are supposed to also flip the enthalpy change or the heat change that you have here. So it was initially negative, so you flip to positive, 85 kilojoules per mole. So that is the method that we are going to use. Okay, next. Here we have carbon peroxide, which is two mole on the product side. Even I have here carbon peroxide on the product side. But the problem here, I have only one mole of carbon peroxide and the demand question. This is called demand question. The demand equation, sorry. The demand equation. So I'm supposed to have two mole of carbon peroxide. That means I'm supposed to take the whole equation here, then I will multiply by two. So that means you are supposed to get two of carbon, solid then you're going to get two of oxygen which is a gas then arrow that means you get two mole of carbon peroxide which is a gas you also multiply the enthalpy change by two so this will be negative 787 
787 kilo, kilojoules per mole. Okay, next. The other equation that we have here is that of hydrogen reacting with oxygen giving us water. But the water that we are supposed to have are 3 moles and they are supposed to be on the product side. Here, the goodness, they are in the product side, but we have only 1 mole. So we are supposed to take the whole of this equation and we also multiply 3 here. We multiply by 3. So, what are we going to get when we remove the bracket or we multiply what's inside by this 3? We are going to have 3 of hydrogen gas plus 3 out of 2 of oxygen gas. Then arrow, we are having 3 moles of water, which is liquid. Then that means the enthalpy between we are going to get here will be multiplied by also 3. We get negative 858 kilojoules per mole. So, the next step, we are supposed to do cancellation, elimination. So, we check whatsoever we see from the questions given, not the demand equation, the questions given, if you see something on the reactant side, if you see on the product side, you are supposed to cancel out. Or you are supposed to eliminate. So, therefore, what are we going to do? That means, we check here, I have three of... Six, I mean, six of hydrogen gas here. And here I have six of hydrogen gas. So these six hydrogen gas are on the reactant side, and these six hydrogen gas are on the side. So this six hydrogen gas will go with that six hydrogen gas on the reactant side. So I have removed that. Okay, next, let's check. Here I have two carbon on the product side because the, the arrow is here. Two carbon on the product side. So if I see two carbon on the reactant side, I'm supposed to cancel again. I eliminate. I they go together. Okay, next, if we check the remaining now, we are remaining ethane. Ethane is here. That's okay. So that means if we don't have other thing now to add to add, that means we are supposed to see our equation if it is balanced or not. So we check the reactant side here. Here we have oxygen, no problem. Here we also have oxygen, no problem. Let's come to this side. This is ethane, and this is the ethane that we have. That's good. Let's move plus. Then we add the oxygen that we have here on this reactant side. Because this oxygen is in the reactant side, because the arrow is here, the arrow is here. Then this other oxygen is on the reactant side, because the arrow is here. So we cannot cancel anything there, because these are on the reactant side. We are supposed to add instead of removing them. We are supposed to add. We say addition. Okay. So what will be 2 plus 3 out of 2? 2 plus 3 out of 2. So we are going to get 3.5. 3.5 means 7 out of 2 of oxygen gas. That's very correct because it is on the reactant side, which is a gas. Arrow. Let's check now what we have or what we remain on the product side. Here we remain with two of carbon peroxide gas. We have two of carbon peroxide gas. Then we have three of water. That means we have three of water here. That means we have nothing on this product side. And that means the question became the way we wanted on that demand question. So if you read here, that means you are supposed to add the enthalpy genes that you have. The enthalpy genes that you have. So this will be equal to negative 787 plus negative 858 plus 85. So here we are going to get negative 1560 kilojoules per mole. That means that is the answer. That's the enthalpy change for the combustion of ethane. So we can write the question very well and we put the enthalpy change for the combustion of ethane on this other side. So we can say C2 H6 gas plus 7 over 2 of oxygen gas. Arrow. We have 2 of carbon peroxide gas plus 3 of water, which is liquid. And the enthalpy change for this combustion of ethane will be negative 15, 60 kilojoules per mole as our answer. So this is the standard enthalpy of combustion of ethane. That's the end.